I'm just so angry. I, I, I've lost all faith in humanity. And this, I'm just really disappointed about the way we've treated her. And it feels like we've pushed her into having to make this statement. And I'm mad at the Kim Kardashians making fun of, it, of the situation on my way to find Kate. I'm mad at the John Olivers. I'm mad at the Stephen Colberts. And I'm mad that this person became a punchline when she was going through something so serious and horrible behind the scenes. She's back home, shooby doo. She's home, shooby doo. Okay, we have a lot to cover, including that clip, which we'll get into later. But first of all, I just want to tell you, I love you. I am back. I was on holiday. Nothing untoward happened in my YouTube life and community. I know that there have been a lot of people who have been targeted in our community by the sugars. And I want to say so much about that, but I have not been targeted. I was just dyeing my hair. <laughs> I hope you like the color. Um, I'm trying to be like Harry, you know, I love red hair. I was bullied because I had uh, red hair. I would never bully this beautiful man here. Oh, uh, yeah, come on. But also, I wanted to make sure that you understood that I was not part of any drama or shenanigans that were going on. I was just watching this space for a while because I was on holiday with my son. I was outside a lot and I was not inside. But I am back inside for the long haul. I'm sorry I will never leave you alone ever again for that amount of time. Pinky promise. While I was away, I noticed that Princess Catherine came out with her message about her diagnosis. I felt two ways about that. First of all, I felt that that was very brave of her, of course, but I also felt that she was bullied into doing it. We had a lot of comments here from people in the UK. Well, isn't this just a great reminder to everyone to mind your own damn business about other people's lives? Poor Kate, in no way should she have had to tell any of you nosy twats. <laughs> okay, so this is Kate Milton breaks the silence on health journey to share her cancer diagnosis. This really broke my heart because I did feel like she was bullied into this. We had Kim Kardashian out here. We had all of these people who have fallen off in their relevancy, in their fame, now coming out and being like, where's Kate? Like it's a where's Waldo thing. And that's very insensitive, especially when you know that Princess Catherine has been very caged about her medical, everything that's going on. I think that's the last thing that you can really keep private in your life, no matter how famous you are. Everyone is saying Princess Catherine is the most famous woman in the world. But at the same time, when she said abdominal surgery, and I don't think people talked about this enough. When Princess Catherine said she was having abdominal surgery, my first instinct was never in the life of anyone who's had a medical procedure has anyone <laughs> referred to it as abdominal surgery. Like that just tells you that Catherine was not willing to discuss what she was having she was intentionally vague about it and that was my hint that she unlike king charles was not willing to go into her procedure that she was having king charles went out there he made awareness about it the nhs got involved you know go for your checkups go for your things we as men you know he did that whole thing and that was really beneficial to society but princess catherine as a woman as a mother of small children and you know as a human being just for the sake of humanity give her some privacy about that women have a lot of things that they don't want to talk about we have private parts that are located in our abdomen that we don't want to talk about we had creators coming out here saying well you know i know exactly what she has and i know this and i know that and i've been told and that's not the intention of Catherine when she says abdominal surgery. She really just wants it to be vague and that you cannot speculate. Lest you speculate and say, well, the reason why is because she had, th I don't know, people will say whatever, sort of blaming her for whatever. This is not what she wanted to embark upon. So she was vague and I watched it and I said, let me see how the death settles. And it did have to settle because after all these buffoons came out here saying, where's Kate on the Kate watch? You had Omid Scobie. I mean, how he is not hanging his head in shame, I do not know. But the man has no shame. He came out saying, I can't wait for the alarm clock to ring when Kate has her announcement. That's bullying. You know, especially since he went through that whole thing with the book, naming and shaming King Charles and Princess Catherine as the two racists. Of course, he's going through now a legal debacle with the translator who wrote the book because he was, he was in the wrong. Anyway, let's circle back to how Meghan and Harry must feel now that the entire public is getting behind Catherine and saying, oh my goodness, this woman who has been through so much is now having to go through cancer treatment whilst people are still thinking about her being a racist, whilst there's no grounds for that, whilst she has these children. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, speaking of children, she does does a photo shoot with her children, which you know Catherine has always loved taking photos of her family and her beautiful children. And then there was this whole thing. Well, she's actually not alive. She's actually photoshopped herself or somebody has photoshopped her. Uh, William took the photo. So perhaps he photoshopped her, but maybe he's not alive either because we haven't seen him. Then he pops up. Then it's like, oh, well, his ghost might have taken the photo. She's not alive. He's not alive. No one's alive. We can't find her. And Americans have been really, they kind of dropped the ball on this a lot because Americans have been very insensitive. They don't even know who William is versus Harry, you know? I've seen a lot of posts and people are very confused, but all they know is that they have to attack Catherine and say that she's not alive and that, oh, Katie Holmes was a passenger serving as a body double for Catherine. Katie Holmes, <laughs> who hasn't done a movie in how long, is now reduced to playing a body double. <laughs> No, I mean, as, as I said, I just watched it. I watched it all unravel. People came back and deleted tweets. Well, Omid eventually did. Kim Kardashian doubled down on her crazy tweet. I mean, I want to talk about Kim Kardashian's tweet for a minute. She says, on my way to go find Kate. She's in an outfit. She's standing by a car. The rest of the photos on this post are just her in the outfit. There is no reason why she had to include Kate except to garner some kind of relevancy. And she obviously got a lot, albeit negative, from this post. And she kept it up. How debased. How bottom of the barrel have these people reached? And if you notice, the people who have used Catherine as a meme or a joke, as the young people say in these nowadays times, are all people who have lost relevancy in their lives. How sick is Hollywood that you have to use somebody's disease to gain relevancy? For a lot of reasons, I couldn't make a video. I am really happy that everyone came to their senses in the end and realized that what I've been saying in my previous videos, give her her privacy, give her her space. You have now come to the realization that to be reflective is more important than to be reactive. Personally, when I watch her in this video, I feel it's under duress. I feel that she did not intend to have to make a video like this. And that is to me very sad. So Kinsey gets very emotional about it. Kinsey Schofield, she's on um, Talk TV. It broke my heart to see her like this because she's usually very measured and controlled in her opinions and so on. But it was really hard to see this because she is in the thick of it, knowing all the things that people are saying. She's reading all the articles. Yeah, it was it was bad to see that. So let's get to Meghan Markle and what her plan is. Well, of course, it must have been very challenging for her to know that Princess Catherine has something that people are relating to, are feeling some kind of sympathy for, because that's her enemy. Meghan is so jealous of Catherine. She can't help herself. She's always trying to one-up her. I don't know what her obsession is, but I'm very worried. And people are very worried for Meghan, how she has so much uh, vitriol and venom towards a woman that doesn't know her from Adam. You know what I mean? Anyhow, she must feel very badly. So she decides <laughs> that she's gonna hawk her wares. American Riviera Orchard. What? Yeah, that's actually what it's called. Sorry. <laughs> The gentle April rain that stained the window panes last night Is all but gone, but lingers on in scented clouds of air We watch the town awaken to the trembling morning light you're so near and spring is everywhere We danced until the stars came out and spread across the sky As I said it, I was like, not even AI could have made such a poor choice of words being put together. American Riviera Orchard. But I don't understand why you, my lovely people in our community of the royal family news and so on, are surprised every time Megan does something cringe and cheesy and low class. Megan 
cannot help herself. We have discussed the fact that she should have advice and should take it. But we've also discussed the fact that she's a narcissist and she would take advice as a blow, you know, like she would see it as she would get defensive over anyone giving her advice. However, we should not be surprised when she does crazy things like using logos, using motifs that she's not supposed to use. She try she keeps trying. This is what the obsession is so crazy for me. She keeps trying to align herself with the royal family, which she thinks is this horrible racist set of people. So she puts out the motif that they tell her, by the way, you can't use the Sussex thing. You know, you can't really use it. You've left the royal family and so on and so forth. And then she pulls it back and then she tries again to use it. Then she tries to copyright things. And it's all a big mess. And you all know everything about that. At the same time, what she's doing is a very old model. Rachel Ray, does that ring a bell? Rachel Ray, she hawked her wares. She's still hawking her wares. She did like, you know, lasagna pans. She did her EVOO extra virgin olive oil you know she was always taking lots of things out of the fridge and then she was cooking them and in a time 20 years ago 10 years ago when it was relevant and people liked her cute little face and her cute little antics you are coming now megan in these nowadays times trying to do the same thing trying to do a soft launch here's me stirring up some stuff you know but it's not really the launch i'm just gonna see how many subscribers i get and how many followers i get first before i do the full launch that doesn't work anymore you have to be quick now says the person who just took like a month off but anyway you have to be quick now though i know i know that to now start saying oh well i'll just sell any and everything to everyone who loves me after people no longer like her because they know her true self then she hasn't fully launched it so everyone's speculating when is she going to launch this bloody good thing that she has going on people will now forget about her soft launch of american riviere orchard wait <laughs> American Riviera Orchard Montecito. So Riviera gives you a thought of a seaside place, right? Is Montecito a seaside place? There's an Italian Riviera, there's a French Riviera associated with Europe. Is that also associated with America? No. Is Orchard associated with the sea? No. Is Montecito associated with American Riviera and Orchard? No. And this motif here, this uh, whatever coat of arms thing that she's using here, nobody can read it. So it could say, hoogly bloogly blue, we don't know. I am not expecting anything of good quality. I'm not expecting anything that is of reasonable price. I am not expecting anything reasonable coming from Meghan Markle. And I don't think you should either. I don't think anybody should be surprised that she is taking this tactless, tasteless, uh, yeah, approach to herself. Because I don't think she sees herself, well, ah, that's arguable. Maybe she sees herself as more than she is, but she shouldn't anyway. So maybe she's going to appeal to the dummies in this world like her that would actually fall for anything that she has selling because I'm not buying it. <laughs> what is this? Oh, Meghan and Harry are in Miami, Florida, and Meghan is dressed in a very fitting straight jacket. As you can see, Meghan has put her handsy hands all over Harry and put herself in the most cringingly position in the middle of the athletes. Oh, for F sake, as some people might say. We're also reminded of this incident before in the polo. A leopard never changes its spots, apparently. <laughs> We'll be doing a video to follow up on that in a moment. There's a lot of confusion about whether she wants to appear in the UK. I would not if I were her, but I think she has enough hubris and insane delusion to go there just for the purposes of marketing and rubbing Harry's back the entire time. I mean, you're going to see it. You're going to see her rubbing his back at the same time launching her thing. Uh, perhaps she will... I don't know if there's actual clothing, but I'm sure she will put in her trendy fruit butters, legume-based spreads, and edible oils and fats somehow into the Invictus Games. <laughs> so at the end of the day, to tie this all together, I want to say that Meghan and Harry did not see Kate's announcement coming. They were not informed of it as family members would be normally. They had to hear about it on the news and then they had to respond publicly. Well, they really didn't, but you know they did. We wish 
health and healing for Kate and the family and hope they are able to do so privately and in peace. They gotta be snipe. They gotta be like worldwide privacy tour. I hope they're able to do the worldwide privacy tour that we've been trying to do this whole time, my darling. She can ask for privacy and peace. You don't have to ask for it for her, Megan, because you're the least private person ever. I want to end this by saying I love you all so much and thank you so much for sticking with me. I have not taken a break in three years. Please put out in the comments what you think of the red. We wish Princess Catherine the very best. I get very choked up when I think about her and her children, but she's a very strong, healthy woman. She's always been that way and sporty and just loving her life. And I just wish her the best. I'm praying for her every day and her children and her husband to have the strength to get through this in a positive way all the time. I love you all so much. Please don't forget to put out the comments. <laughs> love you so much. Bye. <laughs> Why did the world change me?